everybody. I'm Miss Jamie, a children's librarian with Tacoma Public Library. I have a special friend here with me today for our story time. This is Scaredy Squirrel. Say hi, Scaredy Squirrel. Hello. He's a very special squirrel. He's very brave. And he is here to share his book with us today. So he's going to be watching us during our story time. Even when you don't see him, he's going to be here. I always like to start our story times with a hello song. Scaredy Squirrel will join us for that. He's going to go ahead and sing with us. He's going to clap too. So you can clap your hands as we sing. Clap your hands. There we go. <laughs> well, hello everybody. How are you? Clap, clap. Well, hello everybody. How are you? Clap, clap. It's such a lovely day. I'm so glad you came to play. Well, hello, everybody. How are you? Clap, clap. <laughs> good job, Scaredy Squirrel. That was some good clapping. Yay! <laughs> Let's go ahead and sing it one more time. Well, hello, everybody. How are you? Well, hello, everybody. How are you? It's such a lovely day. I'm so glad you came to play. Well, hello, everybody. How are you? Okay, well, let's get started with Scaredy Squirrel's very first book. He is going to sit down here and he'll watch us. See if he'll stay right there. It's a good spot for him. This is his very first book. It's called Scaredy Squirrel. And it was written by Melanie Watt. This book was published by Kids Can Press. This has always been one of my favorites. It's very silly and it's something I can relate to. Sometimes we're all a little scared and a little nervous about things, aren't we? Well, Scaredy Squirrel here sets a good example of how you can be scared but still be brave. All of his books start with a little warning because he's a little nervous about things. And this one is actually a very good suggestion to keep our hands clean all the times. This book says, warning, Scaredy Squirrel insists that everyone wash their hands with antibacterial soap before reading this book. Don't worry, I washed my hands. Scaredy Squirrel never leaves his nut tree He'd rather stay in his safe and familiar tree than risk venturing out into the unknown. The unknown can be a scary place for a squirrel. Ooh, what do you see out there in the unknown? A few things Scaredy Squirrel is afraid of. Tarantulas, poison ivy, green Martians, killer bees, germs, and sharks. So let's pretend. Let's see here. Let's see what he's going to do. He's perfectly happy to stay right where he is. Does that sound very fun? We'll see. Advantages of never leaving the nut tree. There's a great view. There's plenty of nuts. It's a safe place. And there's no tarantulas, poison ivy, green Martians, killer bees, germs, or sharks. Disadvantages of never leaving the nut tree. It's the same old view, the same old nuts, and the same old place. In Scaredy Squirrel's nut tree, every day is the same. Everything is predictable. All is under control. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Scaredy Squirrel's daily routine. 6.45 a.m. Wake up. 7 o'clock a.m. Eat a nut. 7.15 a.m. Look at the view. 12 o'clock noon. Eat a nut. 12.30 p.m. Look at the view. 5 o'clock p.m. Eat a nut. 
5.31 p.m. Look at the view. And 8 o'clock p.m. Go to sleep. But let's say, just for example, that something unexpected did happen. You can rest assured that this squirrel is prepared. A few items in Scaredy Squirrel's emergency kit. A few of these items are things you might have in an emergency kit too. Like bug spray might be good if you're out camping. And antibacterial soap and band-aids. But let's see what else he has in here. A parachute. There's his bug spray. A mask and rubber gloves. A hard hat. Antibacterial soap. Calamine lotion. A net a Band-Aid, and sardines? What to do in case of an emergency according to Scaredy Squirrel? Step one, panic! Step two, run! Step three, get kit. Step four, put on kit. Step five, consult exit plan. Step six, exit tree. If there was absolutely, definitely, truly, no other option. Here's his exit plan. Hmm, he has multiple ways he can escape his tree. Just like we should have multiple ways that we ha have planned to escape our uh, building during a fire. It's good to have emergency plans. Exit one, note to self, watch out for green Martians and killer bees in the sky. Ooh, if he goes out this way for exit two, Note to self, do not land in river. If unavoidable, use sardines to distract the sharks. Exit three, note to self, look out for poison ivy and for tarantulas roaming the ground. Exit four, note to self, keep in mind that germs are everywhere. Remember, if all else fails, plain dead is always a good option. With his emergency kit in hand, Scaredy Squirrel watches. Day after day, he watches until one day, Thursday, 9.37 a.m. What does he see? A killer bee appears! Scaredy Squirrel jumps in panic, knocking his emergency kit out of the tree. This was not part of the plan! Scaredy Squirrel jumps to catch his kit. He quickly regrets this idea. The parachute is in the kit, but something incredible happens. <gasps> he starts to glide. Scaredy Squirrel is no ordinary squirrel. He's a flying squirrel. He feels overjoyed, adventurous, carefree, alive, until he lands in a bush. Scaredy Squirrel forgets all about the killer bee, not to mention the tarantulas, poison ivy, green Martians, germs, and sharks. Hmm. What do you think of his, his jump there? He gives himself a 5.7 out of 10. I think it might deserve a 10. And he plays dead. 30 minutes later, one hour later, two hours later. Oh my goodness. Finally, Scaredy Squirrel realizes that nothing horrible is happening in the unknown today. So he returns to his nut tree. All this excitement has inspired Scaredy Squirrel to make drastic changes to his life. Scaredy Squirrel's new and improved daily routine. 6.45 a.m. Wake up. 7 o'clock a.m. Eat a nut. 7.15 a.m. Look at the view. 9.37 a.m. Jump into the unknown. 9.45 a.m. Play dead. 11.45 a.m. Return home. 12 o'clock noon. Eat a nut. 12.30 p.m., look at the view. 5 o'clock p.m., eat a nut. 
5.31 p.m. Look at the view. And 8 o'clock p.m. Go to sleep. P.S. As for the emergency kit, Scaredy Squirrel is in no hurry to pick it up just yet. Where did that emergency kit land? In the poison ivy. That would be itchy. So that is Scaredy Squirrel's very first adventure. There's lots of other Scaredy Squirrel books. Feel free to check them out sometime. So here's our friend Scaredy Squirrel again. He came to join us for a song about squirrels. He has a very nice little tail, doesn't he? Yes. Swish, swish, swish. So this song here, it goes to the song, uh, to the tune of a song uh, that you might know. Brother John, Are You Sleeping? You might know that one. Little squirrel, little squirrel, swish your tail, swish your tail, wrinkle up your funny nose, hold a nut between your toes. Little squirrel, little squirrel. Let's see if we can do that one together again. And you can always pretend to hold a nut between your toes and wiggle your tail and bunch up your nose. Little squirrel, little squirrel, swish your tail, swish your tail, wrinkle up your funny nose, hold a nut between your toes. Little squirrel, little squirrel. We're going to do that one more time. Little squirrel, little squirrel, swish your tail, swish your tail, wrinkle up your funny nose, hold a nut between your toes. Little squirrel, little squirrel. I'm going to go ahead and put our friend over here. He wanted to share another book with you that's about a cute fuzzy creature. There's lots of cute fuzzy creatures out there, aren't there? We have squirrels. There's rabbits, and my favorite, hamsters. This book is a very special book because it can be read for people's birthdays. So if anybody's had a birthday recently, this book is for you. Happy Birthday, Hamster. It was written by Cynthia Lord. She's actually a Newbery Honor author, too. And it was illustrated by Derek Anderson. This book has lots of fun rhymes too. So here we go. Best day, bake day, candles on a cake day, clap day, cheer day, party time is here day. Here's Hamster and he says, do you know what today is? Here's his friend Dog. Yes, today is my shopping day. First, I need to stop at the bakery and buy some Cake! Pink cake, blue cake, chocolate through and through cake, short cake, tall cake, cannot eat it all cake. Which would you choose? There's lots of cakes. Which one's your favorite? I want the biggest one. It has the most frosting. Looks yummy. But today I came to buy dog biscuits. But what about his birthday? Now, I need a new ball. Our next stop is the toy store. I love toys! Do you see somebody following? I wonder what they're doing with that cake. Spin toys, glow toys, wind it up and go toys. Soft toys, hard toys, ride it through the yard toys. Which toy would you choose? I want a riding toy. This ball is perfect. Wait, aren't you forgetting something? Yes, you're right. I need to buy a card for a friend. Let's stop at the party store. Games, check. Hats, check. 
pinata and some bats. Check. Plates. Check. Spoons. Check. Streamers and balloons. Check. Which would you choose? What's your favorite thing to have at a party? I always like balloons. Oh, look, a balloon. How fun, grab it and let's go. I just have one more stop. Curly fur, straight fur, awesome, groovy, great fur, striped fur, white fur, looking quite a sight fur. Which would you choose? Which hairstyle do you like? All sorts of different hairstyles. You look groovy great. Thanks. Now I finished all my errands. Time to go home, I guess. Long day, late day, all I did was wait day, frown day, fret day. How could they forget day? Oh no, he thinks they forgot his birthday. Do you want to come in? Sure. Oh, who's waiting inside? Surprise! It's all of his friends. I thought you forgot. I would never forget my best friend's birthday. Cake time, hat time, hit it with a bat time, game time, race time, paint it on your face time. Which would you choose? So many fun games you can play at a party. Happy birthday, hamster. Make a wish. Red box, brown box, sparkles up and down box, tall box, wide box. What could be inside box? Which present would you choose? Thank you. Look at all of his fun toys. Well, Hamster had a good birthday after all, didn't he? Yeah. We have time for one more rhyme today before we say goodbye. This is another one about fun, cute little critters. We have rabbits right here. So you can pretend to have your rabbits. Hold up your five rabbits. One, two, three, four, five. And I have my rabbits over here. We are going to count down. So we'll start at five and get smaller, okay? So hold up your rabbits. Hippity hop and hippity hay, five little rabbits went out to play. Hippity hop and hippity hay, one little bunny hopped away. So now how many do we have? Four, one, two, three, four. Hippity hop and hippity hay, four little rabbits went out to play. Hippity hop and hippity hay. One little bunny hopped away. So now how many do we have? Three. One, two, three. Hippity hop and hippity hay. Three little bunnies went out to play. Hippity hop and hippity hay. One little bunny hopped away. So how many do we have now? Two. Hippity hop and hippity hay, two little bunnies went out to play. Hippity hop and hippity hay, one little bunny hopped away. How many do we have now? Just one. Hippity hop and hippity hay, one little bunny went out to play. Hippity hop and hippity hay, one little bunny hopped away. How many do we have now? Zero. Hippity hop and hippity hay. No more bunnies are playing today. Hippity hop and hippity hay. I hope they come back another day. So now we have red books about three cute little critters. Well, red books and sang some songs. Squirrels, hamsters, 
and bunnies. What cute animals can you see around your house? All sorts of fun things outside in nature. And of course, some of us have pets that are pretty cute too. Well, that's all we have time for today. Please check out our website for other fun activities that are coming up, and we'll have more YouTube videos with fun story time songs and crafts as well. Hope to see you again soon. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Thank you so much and I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.